So this is just a short overview of Eris Games, which uh, is an open source platform for playing and creating augmented experiences, including interactive stories, guided tours, and interactive games. So it is a free tool that works on the premises of augmented reality, uh, adding a layer of digital information on top of a physical space. Uh, the platform is open source so that people are welcome to remix and edit. So it has two pieces. It has the web platform, which we use to create our interactive games, and then an iOS device to play and experience those activities. In the games, we have three basic items we can add. Uh, we have our characters, which have the opportunity to have dialogue and converse back and forth. We have plaques, which are more static pieces of information uh, that we can go to and pick up video clips, pick up information. Both characters and plaques can also give and take items, so you can reward or you can take away, which makes the game even more engaging. And the items are the things that we can trade, earn as we go along. After logging into your free account, uh, you have the option of working on games that you've already started or creating a new game. We're going to open the Britannia Schoolhouse game. And in my game you can see I already have some objects. Oh, we're just going to zoom back in so we can see our play area a bit better. There we go, we can see the old schoolhouse now. So the purpose of this game would be that students could come explore uh, more freely uh, some of the grounds around the old Britannia schoolhouse and learn some of the information that they would traditionally get um, if they had a planned excursion. Uh, it could also be used in addition to that planned excursion for a bit of free exploration during the day. So I have my character here. I also have a plaque and I've put some home bases in. Hopefully they would uh, prompt students, even if they came on a weekend, to explore with some younger siblings. So we're going to add an object, and I'm going to add a character because I want to add the school teacher. So once my character is added, I can double click and I get my character panel, so we'll call her the school teacher. If I had a picture, I could upload my picture. And the greeting script will be what they say first when I stumble upon the school teacher, so I can say, good morning, are you late? Uh, now I want students to be able to answer the question, so I'm down here in options. I'm going to add a new option, and they can choose yes, and if they say yes, uh, I can tell them, you will have to sit in the corner if they say no, I can have them re uh, way to go. Here is your reward. I them to get a coin for being so good, so I'm going to click on the plus sign for exchange and going to add a new action. And you can see here they're giving, we're giving them an item, and I'm going to give them a coin. Now the next step, I'm going to save and close this. I need to make sure that my school teacher goes on my map. Once our character is created, we're just going to take our character and drag them to where we would like them on the map. And I can move them around so that uh, when my players interact with my school teacher, they'll find them in that location. Once your game is created in the online platform, you can then play it on your iOS device. So uh, we can see that it will pop up on your list of nearby games. Uh, after we open it up, we can go into our quest or our map and we see the characters and items uh, available on our screen. And depending on how the game's designed, it would have different um, ways to interact. I've just shown you a character in some of their dialogue. If you want to get started with Eris, there's some great tutorials and materials online, including some step-by-step -step, uh, guides that can walk you through that first time, and some great blogs, as well as a Google Plus community where people are sharing their practice.
So ideas for the classroom. There's a great uh, samples on the website. One of them is a history tour of the University um, of Wisconsin uprising and how they've augmented that experience. There's also a fantastic uh, example of a university French uh, experiment. Uh, I definitely see the connections to the outdoor classroom and to our field centers of how we can bring some of that digital content and that exploration, um, guide that exploration a bit further, uh, giving some um, elements to our community field trips. If we're walking, going on a walking trip of Kensington Mark and putting some markers in for students to challenge them or to help guide that more informal experience. Also looking at uh, samples like the habitat tracker or um, different items that were listed, being able to reenact some of those uh, science concepts or some of those social studies concepts in a physical environment, as well as also collecting items. There is a feature in ARIS to have a notebook and to go search for items and collect items. So there's lots of possibilities to use it also as a way of collecting data and uh, bringing that together in that environment. I've only started to explore ARIS, but I can see lots of possibilities. Hope you share what you discover.